What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about some of the best ways to get your hands on different types of silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting pretty close. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. Today I wanted to talk about the different ways of getting different types of silver. Now, unfortunately, there's no straightforward, specific, short answer. It really all comes down to what you're stacking, why you're stacking, how you're stacking, how much you are able to stack, and unfortunately, where you are stacking. Believe it or not, that actually plays a role, which I will get into. So I wanna tackle a couple different ways of stacking. Now, really, before we get into stacking, I wanna kinda of talk about coin collecting very, very briefly, because this is not something that I do. I'm not a coin collector, so I can't really speak from experience. However, I have collected things in the past. Now, from my personal experience, I have found that it's easiest and best and probably cheapest to add to the collection by ordering things online. That's what's always made the most sense to me. That's always been the easiest, the cheapest, the quickest, the everything. So when it comes to collecting coins, you're probably not going after big, large silver bars. You're probably not going after tubes of coins, all the same exact coins. There are 20 of them in here. That's probably not what you're doing. You're probably going after one specific coin at a time or a small list of very specific coins at a time. Now. Unfortunately, if you were to go on over to your local coin shop, they may or may not have that coin in stock. They may or may not have that coin up for grabs and you're restricted. You only have that one local shop or maybe there's another one in the next town over or just in, in your area, in your town, your city or in the neighboring towns and cities, you're kind of restricted to that right there. However, if you were to use the internet just by doing a quick Google search of whatever coin it is you're looking for, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things pop up, whether it be on eBay, whether it be on Instagram, whether it be on a different platform, whether it be on a precious metal dealer's website, whatever the case may be. They're easier to find online because in person, you're restricted to the people in your area, but online there are millions upon millions upon millions of people, and I'm sure one of them has exactly what you're looking for. So that being said, that's all I'm gonna say about coins. I do not have any experience when it comes to coin collecting. I do not collect coins. I stack all of the coins that I have sitting here in front of me, but I'm not a coin collector. But as I said, from my personal experience, I have collected other things in the past and it's always been so much easier, so much more simple and definitely, definitely cheaper to find what I'm looking for on the internet rather than just going to some store or some shop that sells those things. Moving forward, I wanna talk a little bit more about stacking now. So, first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to stacking is the way that I'm stacking. Are you stacking for the same reason that I'm stacking for or primarily for the most part the same reason I'm stacking for simply to save money for the long term, preserve my wealth, preserve your wealth, act as a hedge against inflation. We all know that the dollar bill seems a little old and sickly right now, but for the most part, I'm stacking pretty much exactly what I have sitting here in front of me. I go after these type of things, just obviously way more of them, rather than just one silver eagle, tubes and tubes of silver eagles, rather than just one Canadian maple leaf, tubes and tubes of Canadian maple leaves. So I'm doing this because I'm mostly after the physical silver content and I try to get as much of it as I can for the lowest possible dollar amount. And I also try to diversify. I also try to go for smaller denominations. And by that I mean 10 ounces 
and smaller five and 10 ounce silver bars, one ounce silver bars or coins or maybe some rounds. I like the one five and 10 ounce increments and obviously I go for some 90% silver as well because it's essentially fractional US silver coins. One fourteenth of an ounce, one sixth of an ounce, one third of an ounce silver coins. With low premium, might I add. And the coins sitting here in front of me, specifically the maple and the eagle, relatively low premium. For the last couple of years, the last two and a half years more specifically for me, I've been able to get these two coins for one to three dollars over spot, depending on spot price and what site I'm using and, and, and everything going on. Typically about like two dollars to two seventy five, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but that's a relatively low premium, and that's not taking the current premiums into account. We all know everything going on in the world right now has cranked up the premiums on absolutely everything. But for the most part, I go for these two coins because they are the number one and number two most recognizable silver coins that there are. Pure silver coins, that is. One ounce pure silver coins, the most recognizable, the most respected, and the second in command. So that's what I stack for the most part. Low premium, high level of notoriety. Now, there's a different way of stacking silver to preserve your wealth for the long term for an even lower dollar amount. Much more inconvenient in my opinion, and if you want to know the exact details, watch yesterday's video talking about why I will probably never stack anything larger than a 10 ounce silver bar. And this would be by stacking large denominations of silver. I'm talking about silver kilo bars. I'm talking about 50 ounce bars. I'm talking about 100 ounce silver bars. Typically, when it comes to silver, really when it comes to anything, look at and compare wholesale stores to just regular grocery stores. It goes the same way when it comes to silver. Let's just say I wanted to get 100 ounces of silver it would, without a doubt, be a lower fiat dollar amount to get a 100 ounce silver bar than it would be to get 100 of these one ounce silver bars. Why is that? They're both 100 ounces of silver, but the same reason convenience stores are a little bit more expensive, a little bit more pricey. Not to say that this is pricey, it's just a slightly higher dollar amount to go this way with a hundred of these rather than one single hundred ounce bar. It's because these are more convenient. In my opinion, and from most people's opinion, these are more desired, they're easier to work with. If you have one hundred ounce silver bar over here and then someone across the room has 100 of these and both of you need to liquidate slightly, not entirely, the person with a 100 ounce silver bar might have a little bit of trouble. The person with 100 of these can take 25 of them and liquidate if they wanted to. Now, I'm not going to necessarily compare and, and contrast and, and do the pros and the cons. That's what yesterday's video was all about. But if you're stacking for weight and you're trying to get as much physical silver content for the bare minimum, lowest possible dollar amount, that would probably be the way to go. Getting large denominations of silver, the lowest possible premium. That's the cheapest way you can go about doing it. Of course, you could also argue that it's a more expensive way of doing it because you would have to save up an even larger dollar amount, but it would actually save you a little bit of this paper in the long run. I personally would rather pay a slightly higher dollar amount to do things the way that I'm doing them just because I know for a fact it's gonna be way more convenient for me if and when the spot price were to ever, let's just say, skyrocket as a lot of people like to say. Right now, it wouldn't be a problem. Parting ways with a 100 ounce silver bar 
right now at this specific point in time, I would highly doubt you would have trouble doing that. But you may or may not have a little bit of difficulty parting ways with that 100 ounce silver bar if the spot price of silver were to go to, well, let's just say $40, $50 again, which it's done in the past. So metaphorically speaking, we know it's possible. Or let's just say something that we don't necessarily know is going to happen. What if it were to go to $100, $150 an ounce and you have a 100 ounce silver bar? See, they both have their pros and their cons. This one has its pros and its cons. Having a hundred of these has its pros and its cons. And having just one big block of silver that weighs 100 troy ounces, that has its pros and its cons as well. But at the end of the day, silver is silver. And I'll be the first to tell you, all silver is great, in my opinion and from my perspective. Not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. It's all for entertainment purposes, but it's also to initiate a conversation. Now, I want to talk about online versus coin shops very, very briefly as well. Now, the reason for this is because I get comments from people all the time, more specifically when I reference that I get a majority of my silver over the internet, placing an order online rather than going on over to the coin shop. I get a lot of comments from a lot of different people telling me that coin shops are cheaper and that's a better, smarter, more realistic way of going about stacking silver. Here's the problem. As I said at the very beginning of the video, your location, where you are stacking, unfortunately plays a role, and here's why. I personally live in New Jersey, a very expensive state, and I'm not just talking about the convenience stores, I'm not just talking about paying rent and all these other bills, I'm talking about absolutely everything. New Jersey is generally an overall very expensive state, and it goes for the coin shops as well. Unfortunately, I understand why coin shops are a little bit more expensive. It's more pricey for the customers, and the reason for that is because it's more pricey for the business owners. They have more overhead, they have to pay more cash, more fiat, more currency, and in order to stay in business, they have no choice but to increase the dollar amount. Now, for example, a basic generic secondary market round at my local coin shop, which is actually technically an antique shop, but they sell a lot of coins as well. One basic generic secondary market silver round was $26, I believe. At that time, spot price was $16 and 40 something cents. Looking at over $9 premium on a basic generic piece of silver. Now, if you were to get a silver round from a coin shop in a lot of other states, which is what a lot of people do, a lot of people comment on my videos. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm talking about and referencing the hundreds of comments I've received telling me that their coin shops are actually cheaper than getting silver on any of these online precious metal dealers websites. A lot of people don't even pay attention to these websites. They get the overwhelming majority of their silver in person at a shop in their town or one of the neighboring towns. Somebody was telling me the other day their coin shop is two hours away and they always find an excuse to make that two hour drive and get some silver. But also something that you wanna take into consideration is also where you live because I'm a big believer in stacking the coin of my country. This right here, the Silver Eagle, that's the pure silver coin of my country. I'm fortunate and blessed and lucky enough to be an American. So this right here is the pure silver coin of my country. That's what I stack for the most part. That's the foundation of my stack. If I lived in Canada, the foundation of my stack would be the maple leaf. If I lived in Australia, the coin of my country, or one of the coins of my country, I should say, the kangaroo. This is not the Britannia, but if I lived in the UK, if I lived in Great Britain, this right here is the landmarks of Britain coin, but I would stack the British Britannia. If I lived in Austria, I'd stack the Philharmonic. If I lived in China, I'd stack the Panda. If I live here, I'd stack that. So that's one thing you might want to take into consideration because that's something a lot of people agree with me on. Shouldn't be the only coin that you stack but it would probably make the most sense to make that the foundation of your stack.
for a variety of different reasons, which I'm not gonna completely deep dive into in today's video. This is more so talking about the best ways to get silver, in my opinion. Now, also when it comes to the online websites, some people like to say this site's bad because they're more expensive, this site's better than that site, whatever the case may be. But as I always tell people, if you're going to get silver online, I would recommend you pull up five or six different tabs on your computer. You go to five or six different online precious metal dealers websites on those tabs. You fill up your five or six different shopping carts with the same coins, rounds, bars, whatever it is you're looking for. And then you compare the total. One might be two or three dollars higher, the other one might be a dollar fifty lower, one might be fifteen dollars lower because maybe something's on sale over there or it's not on sale on, on any of the other sites. That's just one thing you might want to take into consideration. I know a lot of people like to be loyal to their preferred website. I have a preferred website, but I don't see the need to be loyal to that website. I use the website, but I also use whatever website makes more sense at the time. One site might have a pretty good deal on 90% silver. That's why I have these bags of silver. I've ordered several, several dollars face value at a time. Another site might actually have, I don't know, 10% off the premium on Silver Eagles. And if my preferred site doesn't have that going on, I'm gonna use the site that does. So you just gotta compare and contrast. And when it comes down to answering the question, what's the best way of stacking? I would say, in essence, to summarize this entire video is, the best way of stacking silver is to just be strategic. You gotta figure out why you're stacking, what you want to stack, how much you wanna stack, how much you are able to stack, how long you plan on stacking for? Is silver the only thing you wanna go for? Or are you also looking into gold? There's a lot of factors that need to be taken into account. So I pretty much covered my opinion on the best way of stacking from a collector standpoint, not that I'm a collector. The best way of stacking if you're going to coin shops, the best way of stacking if you're gonna be shopping online. I tried to do a pretty general explanation behind these things and really tried my best to tackle all of them at once. So hopefully this was able to benefit someone in some way, shape, or form. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Got a brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, and we're getting pretty close, so help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal-themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, we got the major cheese ball t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, and stickers, because apparently stacking silver may or may not make us major cheese balls. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know if you are comfortable answering any and all of these questions. How long have you been stacking for? Has your method of stacking switched up over the months or maybe years or potentially decades? What, in your opinion, is the best way of stacking both online and offline? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to the topic of discussion in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.